This episode of the Fully Geek Pod is sponsored by Tropical Box. Shop the freshest tropical fruits from around the world at www.tropicalbox.co.uk and to get your 10% discount, enter Fully Geeked at the checkout. The Fully Geeked Yes, yes, yes. Welcome everybody to episode 210 of your favorite podcast, the Fully Geeked Pod. Come on. Self Nate inside. One Kelp. Merv. Marley Ma, Marley Ma. Come on. Self Echo, I love it. We ain't got Rich inside today. Richard is on the M1. Okay. Um, I don't think he's going to get involved, but if he does, he will let us know. Guys, I can see right now, I can see we're all wearing hoodies. Some with hoods up, some hoods down. But right now, I feel like my name is John Snow, guys. <laughs> it's not a thing where winter is coming. Winter is here. It's like we skipped autumn, innit? It's like we skipped autumn and it's straight to winter, bro. Brother, I half expected to come up my house this morning, see no leaves on the tree whatsoever. It'd just be bare. Bro, winter is inside of me. Bro, John, John, John Frost, or whatever his name is. Bro, Slow. John Slow. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought was, I thought it was a new one. I was like, which was the first one? <laughs> no, but what was the first one? Jack, 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 John Frost, Jack, Jack Frost. Frost. Jack, Jack Frost. Frost. Jack, Jack Frost. Frost. That's it. Oh, Jack I can Frost. appreciate that. I uh, did not want you to land with that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. Right now it is. I'm still not putting the heating on. Yeah, but that's just because I'm a bit tight like that when it comes to the heating. But uh, the, heat, the, heat, the heat comes at night one time. I, I put mine on. I think Sunday was. I think first time since it went off. Like when spring and that came in it. Yeah, I'm not. And it was on during the daytime as well. That's how bad it was. Yeah, I enjoy is t- All right, today, yesterday was freezing. Yesterday was cold, yeah? Yesterday was cold. Today, it was okay-ish. Like, the mm. sun was shining today, and it was actually felt warm. Like, a couple of men yeah, in, was... play- in the playground had puffer jackets, had to remove them. Do you get me? No, no, no. It's not puffer jacket yet. Not yet. Yeah, I made that mistake. I saw some guys in shorts yeah. yesterday forced it. I said, you are forcing it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I did the puffer today. Um, yes, needed. Nah, you said it was needed? Yeah. Not needed at all. Yeah, today, so. definitely. I yesterday, it, yeah. Cold. I don't know. Yesterday, 100%. Today, yeah, it's been all right. Yeah. I did duty, no jacket. I ain't going to lie. I think I put my heating on yesterday. Yeah. It's on now, to be fair. You know what? I was, I was, I'm being tight, but... Basically, because like we're locking off the account, I I, I don't want to like spike the bills at the, at the end of the month, innit? <laughs> like, that's it. That's all it is. <clears throat> Get me, like, yeah. I think because up oh, here, because it was, well, some people got a bug in the house, innit? So that's why the heating's on. But did did the little ones get it from school and that? Nursery? I don't know. I've not, no, no, she hasn't even started no nursery yet. Okay. But she goes to the child minders, though. So she might have got it from there. Did she get it first? Yeah, she got it first. It's that time of year, though. I know, especially now, this is the kind of... Because half term so soon, like... Or some people have even started half term already. I know it's that kind of time where the, the bugs start coming out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Viruses start going around half term. Everyone kind of relaxing a little bit. Get the sniffles and that. Bro, it's my only benefit of living alone. Yeah. The on, there's no kids coming home to make me ill. No cross contamination yeah. at all, bro. Daddy, yeah, get me a <laughs> chew in your face, bro. Bro, it's not even that. It's sometimes it's just and it's just touching stuff. Yeah. Just touching <laughs> stuff. This see the virus is like. Hey. Yeah. Listen, I, got, I, I wonder how like get ago, away, man. A couple of years ago, I went to my mum's in it. Literally, they all had this bug. Like, I didn't know. I got there. I could see them all ill. I literally went in there. I t- washed my hands and I left. I was like, I can't stay here, bro. I woke up the next day so ill. Is like, it? I got the train, vomited on the train. Sorry about the vomit. So just by going in, washing my hands, leaving, I was like, no, nah, I don't want to get ill. Oh, you was that guy on the train that that, that do much stuff. I had to hold it. I had to stop. Yeah, but sorry, we, sorry we have stopped here due to someone being <laughs> I'm ill. <pretty> being Ill. <laughs> I couldn't let that happen. I waited for the stop. Got off. But yeah. 
Bro, it's horrible. I walked into the other day. Yeah, <laughs> Imagine, I walked into one of the sister head's office. There was three people in there. I heard sneeze, cough, sneeze. I, I was in the middle of the room. I said, shit, I need to get out of there. Like, they opened the window. I was like, I don't think that's going to help me. Guys, please. You know what I'm saying? Just don't breathe. Can everyone hold their breath? <laughs> while I exit, quick left, bro. Which is horrible, bro. Horrible. Let's be, speaking of school, though, can I shout out my godson, please? Of course you can. For getting his, some award. What was it? Good Behaviour Award or... Like, he got oh, shouted out. He got shouted oh, out. You know what it is? Shouted <laughs> out on stage. <laughs> I didn't man, even man put, forgot, I didn't even man, put man, the two man, together he used to talk about. That was so, so, it. Why is Nate going to know? No, you know, like I'm mad sitting there going, which god son is he talking about? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my son. <laughs> 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 yes, no, he did. He got student of the week. He got student of the week for Key Stage 3. So that's Did you give it to him? No. No, no, no. It's not in my year. So, no, and I purposely, it's mad because even when he got it, like, I didn't turn around and do mad claps at the stage because I didn't want no one to think, oh, it's just it's you, innit? So I all, I all turned around. Like, I, I walked the other way. Like, I was celebrating, but I wasn't... I had to get someone else to film it, everything, because I was like... Don't try it. Nate was walking yeah, around. I was like, when I saw the video, I'm like... Son. That's my son, yeah. Like, how did yeah. Nate... How's Nate, Nate filming, but he's all the way over there at the same yeah, time? Yeah, no, no, I've got someone else. That's what I'm saying. Someone else had to film it. Like, he was using some drone, you know? Because, like, no, <laughs> like, it, looks, it looks a bit suspicious, you get me? I don't want a man to think oh, man. that. Well, you should have got tripod out. VHS That's corner. my son. Yeah, I totally <laughs> Spotlight as well. Nah, it's, it's, it's sick because I, I, bro, we got a trophy. Like, that's his forever. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just started, bro. Man, I what, even a month, a month, it's over a month, isn't it? Yeah. I thought we had to give the trophy back. She's like, nah, it's yours. It's okay, my bad. So, it'll get in his prize possession, his new room and that. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Super proud. Super proud, man. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Yeah, shout you out. I will big you up and let you know that. Yeah, Godfather spoke about you. Oh, I don't think he listens to the point. After, after he tried prank me by giving me a Batman toy, but I forgive you. I forgive <laughs> you. you no, nah, he said he said he knows Uncle Kel loves like Batman. So I said like cool, and he had some some action man. So like all the toys, so he said he wants to give it to you. So like cool. Yeah, but everyone got the cameras out to see my reaction and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did, they did. <laughs> but people, how is everyone doing, man? Apart from the weather, how's everyone doing? Everyone's blessed. Just, just with a cold, mess with a cold. Are you yeah, miserable, please. I'm miserable. Limp it, limp it. No? Yeah. Yeah. Had some ginger? I'm not really, actually, no. no. So I don't leave my mum here sometimes. I just put make up that concoction. Bro, I'll tell not you make, one. Make everything. <laughs> honey. So what I used to do is get um, a squeeze of honey, like some yeah. squeeze of honey in a little shot glass or whatever, pour some lemon juice in it. Yeah. And a cap full of white rum, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had brandy. Man. You can do, you can also do brandy, but you mix it because the honey. What about, what about whiskey? You, you can do. I guess you could do whiskey. I, I don't. Like, yeah, you like whiskey. Okay. Mix it like sometimes you can put a little ginger in it, but the ginger will give you a kick. You mix it and then just take it as a shot. It's, it's, it does. Uh, as well. Why do a lot of black women hate lemsip? Like when you say uh, I want to buy lemsip, they'll cuss you down. I don't know. It's weird. I mean, <laughs> so prior to the pod, we went out on a work thing. So it's a little bit. That's why it's a little bit late logging on. But we was there talking. About, did you know that lemsip came in black currant flavor? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. They were, like apparently the man them take lemsip black currant, and it's also a honey and ginger flavor. Didn't know this. Yeah, I think the, that's the one that I usually buy because it's like it makes sense, isn't it? Okay, I thought it was just lemon, bro. All this time I thought it was just lemon. I'm going to give yeah. you like, a tip now. Yeah, okay, I've told you this before. Um, this Claudia told me this and it works every single time. As soon as you feel you're going to get a cold, as soon as you feel that, because that's how it starts, isn't it? Put a scarf on. Do not take it off and leave. Make sure this, for the, all the viewers as well, make sure this part of your neck is covered. Like even when you go to sleep, you're going to sweat. But sleep in that same scarf, put a hoodie on or whatever. I guarantee you wake up with no cold. I haven't had a cold. Like I can't remember the last time I had a cold. I had COVID. But I don't get ill. As soon as you feel it, literally, as soon as I feel it, put a scarf on, cover your whole neck and chest. You won't get ill. Oh, you told me you on, though, day day too like, late. Are you like a Vicks vapor rub as well? Nothing, nothing. You don't need this. Even when you're saying I, Lemsip, I, I use it for COVID, but it's got all that shit in it. Like, we don't need that. That's probably why black women, you know, the mothers, don't like Lemsip. Go and buy some lemon, make your own Lemsip. 
But as I'm saying, why should I do honey and lemon? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. maybe. What, what, what about the Vicks in the sole of your feet? Is that is that a myth or does it actually work? I since I was what eight, my mum did it for me. I I ain't, I ain't done that again. But <laughs> like, trust me, like even now, no, put the scarf on. Don't take it off. Like you got, you have to kind of sweat it out. I hope I wake up. You'll, you'll be amazed. Um, you might miss it. You might miss it. You, but... you can't see with a scarf on. I bet you did, but it's it's. I'm mean, gonna sweat. You know, I sweat for bad, no bro. reason, bro. So I've you can always... imagine. Me too. We're sleeping in a separate bed, mate, today. Um, like you literally sweat it out. So like... what about if you see this? What about the hoodie? It's pretty. You sleep with a hoodie on. Yeah, but it's um, still kind of out. Need like, a neck. You need a neck, oh, man. Like like this. I can't sleep in a hoodie, though, man. Yeah, no, it's, hard. it's very hard. Like when you're that ill and you think, oh, I'm going to have to deal with this for like maybe four or five days a week, or I could wake up tomorrow and it's done just by having this one bad sweaty night. I'm telling you, just but next time you do If I tie it like this, that's all, isn't it? But basically, yeah. do you have a scarf, girl? Yeah, there, <laughs> because that's that's me, sure scarf having alternatives. I'm just saying, it's worked. I, I shout, out, shout, out, Claude, shout out Claudia, though. Like, Does she listen? Is that people? She says she tries to know. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. you see, I also think sometimes with the cold thing, it's a mind over matter thing, you know. But like, I properly say to myself, I'm not getting ill. Like, I, I, I say I'm not getting ill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, like, sometimes it's I put it out there, I'm not getting ill. There's no way I'm getting ill. 100%. I don't allow it to. You know that? Because there's a bit where you're ill and there's a bit where I feel like you kind of, you kind of... Make yourself ill. You can, Not succumb. Succumb's the wrong probably word. Pause. I don't know if that's even the right word here. But you know, you say to yourself... You resign yourself to you being ill. You're like, oh, I'm ill. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm tough. Yeah? yeah. Oh, it's coming. I can feel it coming. That? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't ever have that, oh, yeah. I feel ill. Because I feel like words are powerful. Once you said that, bruv, you're sneezing, you're lying in bed sweating, all of them things. Mind over matter. Yeah. So, Merv, you're not ill, bro. You're right, man. Just taking the time. Even, now. I'm not well. I mean, I'm, I'm well now. I'm well. I'm well. <laughs> but, right, guys. Um, we spoke a little bit about it last week when we spoke about what's going on in the Gaza Strip in Gaza, and you no, know, it feels like it's getting worse. Yeah, it seems that way, man. It seems that way. But shout out to all the protesters, though, filling up the streets in in all over Northern Africa, Middle East, London, they've had, yeah, they've Central London, like Europe. Oh man, a lot of people. Have, oh yeah, you did obviously. You put in the, in the Instagram group, but RIP to the people that got shot in, in um the Swedish fans that got shot mm. in in Brussels in Belgium. Um, RIP to them, man. But yeah, it's 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 gonna it's gonna spill everywhere, man. It's because this war is getting very very bloody now, and 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 it's on both sides. It's on both sides. Do you know what I mean? So but it's, it's a war that. I feel like I don't. I don't know if it will ever be resolved. No, 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 never. This is a war that never. It's you know biblical. What I mean? If you're a believer, it's this is this is biblical, bro. It's it's yeah. it's been set. Do you get me? It's been set with the word, and it's and I don't know when it's gonna kind of overcome. And there's lots of historical kind of facts, and I guess people have to do their own research um, to kind of draw a conclusion because a lot of people. Like they only listen to say, for example, Western media. Western media is pumping out this is the the rhetoric. I mean, the BBC even apologized the other day for them pumping out a rhetoric. And I'm like, bro, like, you know, sometimes you're supposed to be impartial. And it's like some people are like, pray for this person, pray for that person. Um, I saw an interview with what's that that donut said, the, the one who supports Arsenal. Um, had the interview with Cristiano Ronaldo that time. Oh, Pierce Morgan. Pierce Morgan. Pierce Morgan was interviewing a brother. The brother was speaking. Oh, Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed. Um, had. Um, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Speak some knowledge to him. He didn't want to acknowledge the questions. He wants to go with his own kind of rhetoric. Like it's a weird one. It's like you kind of don't know what side of the fence you're supposed to be on. But what you do know is like it's an atrocity to what's going on in the world, and you think in big 2023. I don't believe we necessarily should still be dealing with these kind of things. I'm not dealing with these things, but we kind of got to come out of a better way of resolving these issues. You know, but you know but, the word. You know, sorry, go on, man. No, I'm saying not to the point where your um, people are dying and being kidnapped, isn't it? So I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. But 
yeah, and it's also it's also spilling over to obviously like Sydney girls are getting attacked, mosques are yeah. getting attacked. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just spilling over to the, the whole world now where it, yeah, everyone feels threatened. Do you know what I mean? Kind of thing. I saw a video footage of a, a couple of um uh Hebrews not Hebrews, Israelites. Israelites walking on the road and so Arab man just pushed the middle one to the floor, you get me? Like just pushing to the floor. He's happy with flying. But yeah, like so it's it's just it's just like yeah, man, it's just, it's 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 techie times. It's very techie. It's techie. If you're a proud Muslim and you're, or you're a proud Israelite walking the road, just know that it can't get techie for you. Mm. Where, when where you, you said are. Israelite, do you mean like the people in the the black suits and the hats and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Jewish. Jewish, but Jewish is a religion. So yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, okay. The Jewish yeah. and and yeah. and that I think is probably where or a part of what the issues are in the first place. Exactly, because what I have learned of night, of late is that the the Jewish folks, they're not the ones making up this law, it's the Zionists. So I think there's a branch of Judea, Judaism called the Zionists. I, I think if Monica correct me, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, that's right, that's correct. Yeah, so this, this is like dead extreme of the Judaisms, which are being forceful with the land and Stamping their authority to the Palestinians, it's a Zionist. Yeah, so, so you know, like, yeah, people, you always get these people that say like mis misunderstood where they don't, well, we don't like Jews. People don't like the Jews. Like yeah. around the world, they said they don't like the Jews. It's the Zionist. It's a Zionist. It's that branch kind of polluting. Yeah, the name of the Jews or yeah. the Jewish people. Yeah, I'd say because I mean even like and we're going back, well, no, I say hundreds of years, like eighty. 60, 70, 80 years ago, where the whole resettlement started, which is also what this whole thing is. is and about. who started it all? The British. They, so, they started. It's, that's, that's the source of it all. They and that's what it was, is they resettled them onto a land, which, hypothetically speaking, wasn't their land to resettle them to. And ever since that, we've kind of gone through this. And that's what I'm saying. Every now and then, it just rears its, its, its ugly head. And that land that they're giving them, if you look at it, it's grown much bigger than it is, than it was. Do you know what I mean? That's the beef as well. Okay, you, you, you had a treaty, but now you're taking a mix by expanding it, expanding it, expanding it, and then building massive walls coming into our property land. Do you know what I mean? Kind of thing. I don't want to get like too into it because I don't know what YouTube yeah, that yeah. lands is. Yeah. But, you know, like, I, I think I sent it to the Ballers group once or even Gokes where these... Jews, the Jewish people have been for a thousand years they've been going to different countries and this is happening over a thousand year period where they go somewhere and apparently they get kicked out because they just yeah, cause that, trouble yeah. and then they go somewhere else and literally and now it's happened again yeah. this yeah. earth law declaration whatever it is in 1917 I think where they said yep you can have that land there it's yours I did like gypsies or something because well, yeah, saying, you said yeah, Jewish yeah. is a re religion, like it's Judaism, isn't it? But yeah. from what we know, Jew is from the man Judah, so it's an actual culture. It's not a religion. That anyway, that's that's another that's another topic. But also, yeah. it does say again, we're talking. This is biblical. Until the real Jews mm -hmm. are in that land, there will never be peace. peace. But once yeah. the Jews are in the land, there will be war no more. So that should say a lot. Just my views, people. Only mine. And I'll be honest with you, so I had, a, well. I had a meeting the other day, um, the Men's Fellowship Group, like it's one of the groups that I, I have. And it was, it was, it, we had, we obviously we were just talking about what's going on in life, whatever, it became a topic of conversation. But it was, it was interesting because these were learned men that were not only having engaged in the conversation, but they were engaged in a conversation with scriptures and they were saying, boom. And you know, like when a man says, no, this is the children of Abraham. Boom, 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 boom. This is who the land's supposed to. They, they were spitting knowledge like I, brother, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the conversation to an extent. That I was like, yeah, I learned something today. Do you know what I mean? I, I can't I can't necessarily repeat everything because I, I didn't like it wasn't an exam. You know what I mean? I just heard it and said, oh, right, that's food for thought. And I wrote little things down and go and do some research. But yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I've got people in some of my WhatsApp groups write comments, statements, 
then you know that people don't really like you know like every day everyone's busting Jovi or like liking comments and all that kind of stuff. People are just kind of missing with it. Like no one ain't responding. This so it's, yeah, it's very techy. It's very techy. But yeah, the same way the Zionist extremists of Judaism. Obviously, you got the um, hammers of guys who are the extremists for the Palestinians. You know what I mean? So those two extremes going together, like obviously, you get war. So that's what's happening right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all I can say is, but listen, man. I can't say keep safe. There's no to be. If you if you're there, my prayers go out to you, man. That's all, man. It's in God's hands, man. That's all. Yeah. yeah. All right, brother Kel. Saturday night. Oh yeah. We had the. I want to say big fight, but I don't know if it was a big. Nah, fight. it's not a big fight. It's a joke. Oh, we, we had a man like KSI taking on man like Tommy Fury. But that that was even with the big fight. The big fight was um Logan Paul. And um, some guy called. Yeah, see, I know more about that fight, Kel. Yeah, I can't remember his name. But a, oh yeah, my god! Yeah, because of D, D, Dylan, 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 or whatever. But yeah, he basically. I don't know who but, this what guy was is. the headliner though. Yeah, the headliner was KSI and Fury. Okay. You know, but the fight before KSI was a bit more interesting. Yeah, that was one where the man got disqualified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, Imagine so... trying to do MMA moves like two yeah, or three times. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He's on his back, in it? Did I yeah, see yeah. It? Like, what's wrong with you? Try to put, put try to bring him down the foot like two or three times. Um, and uh, and the last time he tried to do it, obviously he flopped again. And um, Logan Paul just punched him. But first of all, it was a good fight, not a good fight in the sense of uh, good boxing, but Logan Paul was boxing really well. And had the, the guy was just the guy kept doing his MMA moves like he, like he kept slapping his wrist like that. Do you know what I mean? It's probably this is boxing. Do you know what I mean? Like, you go, go box. Huh? You couldn't even throw a punch. You couldn't even throw a punch. Dylan Dylan... Not a... Nah, nothing. Dylan, like... Dylan Dennis. Dylan Dennis. That's it. Dylan Dennis, yeah. So, um, basically, a logo pool, uh, punched him while he was on the floor. Then he got up. He tried to grab him up again. But a logo pool ran around the ring. ring, And then all the security guards just jumped in the ring. Like, it was like a, a good 30, 40 security guards in the ring. Beefing each other as well, obviously his side and then Logan Paul's side, didn't it? And um, I took, I don't know how long it took them to clear the ring, but it took a little minute. But the KS and the Fury fight was a shit fight. It was a shit fight. Um, Fury's a shit boxer. He's meant to be pro, but he's shit. He's awful. And, K, and K, KSI, KSI was, he was a one trick pony. So all he was doing was running around the ring, jumping, like, faking, faking, and he was going bang, but he was landing. He will knock you, punch him, then he'll hold him. Do you know what I mean? And then he'll run away again. Come in, punch him, hold him. So technically, he won the fight because he was, he was landing more of the clean shots. Yeah. Um, but also Fury had a few Fury was able to control the fight a bit more. So I thought a draw would, be, would have been fair. Just give it a draw. Do you know what I mean? It was a whack fight. They both had their little turns, but KSI had the, more of the cleaner shots that connected. But it, a Fury won, I think, by a split decision. No, well, it went for split decision. They appealed it. Then it was a unanimous decision. Oh, so I thought one judge had draw. Like no, seconds. one person, one judge originally had draw. Yeah. And they complained. So they re, they redid it. And the judge in every one, that's now unanimous. All three of them went. Oh, all three of them. Okay, I didn't even know that. Yeah. All three of them went so, to, to um, Fury. Yeah, so as I said in the group, you can't let a YouTuber be a pro nah. boxer. It will spoil the game. It will destroy the the game of sport. You know, and he's a fury as well. So they they couldn't have it. They couldn't have it, man. Um, what was this pay per view? Yeah, 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 I obviously. I mean, well, obviously. yes, yes, I paid for it. Obviously, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> the worst thing was I. It was always on, and I just didn't watch it. And then I saw like, oh shit! So I looked on my my phone and I saw like the the results. I said, oh, I'm glad I didn't watch it. Yeah. But what's his name? Uh, there was one person who's the rapper. He's not really a rapper. Like he he got big during lockdown. Like because... oh, swarms, swarms. <laughs> I score swarms. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, he, got oh. <laughs> he got knocked out, man. He got knocked out. Bro, he got knocked out, and then the man still like the judge didn't even count ten properly, yeah, because yeah. the man came and interrupted, and swarms still couldn't get up properly. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think she. I think she allow it. 
Yeah, he's not he's not a solo good boxer, I'll be honest with you. No, no, no. Not taking nothing away from it to get in the ring, go toe to toe with a man, it's, it's a big deal, isn't it? Yeah. Like let's put some respect on their name, but yeah. Um Kel, no, no, way... no, sorry, no, 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 he's about to say something. The way you watch um these pay per view bites, can you send me the details no, of how I, I can pay because... it's, it's on the it's on the yeah. it's on the stick. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna watch some NBA man and I I just Bro, okay. invest in the stick, bro. Yeah, no, just invest in the stick, man. I'll do it for you. Allegedly. Let's go, oh, what, just Amazon, yeah? What, just get on Amazon? Yeah, Amazon. yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, talk Amazon. after the... Let's talk after the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, Let's talk after the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, um, invest in, you know... Yeah. There's other, there's other, you know, forms of... The view share. The view know... share by us was not by us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, brother, look, you know, it is back in the day, I had a little crush on this girl. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be real. I had a crush on this girl. I think it might have been Jason's lyric, it might have been, but definitely set it off. Yeah, 100%, 100% with you on that. 100%, like, I, she was my, she was my bruv. I felt for her, bruv. But, I want to know why is she doing my brother like this, bro? He he is ruining his legacy, bro. You remember this guy has been a legend, not most of our lives because we're grown ups, but most of our lives, yeah. Like from back in the day, BBC Two, him going with jazz to to everything. We followed him through all of these years of... First- Even Slyly's rap career, Summertime. Oh, Come bro, on. We followed him, bro. Um, I've got a lot of his albums. Please don't go This back. is what I mean, bro. Yeah? Yeah, really star, yeah. Apart from... Apart, it, apart from the like, oh, Shake, shake, shake the room. <laughs> Boom, shake, shake. Apart from Wild Wild West, yeah? But even that, he can still be a bit of a banger, yeah? Yeah. Why is Jada Pinkett Smith doing Brother Will like this? Apparently, how you name is Jada... Was it J- J- Jada, Rock, um, Shakur, <laughs> Alcina Smith? <laughs> <laughs> the bro, memes have been killing me, bro. I saw memes that there's only one Jada now, you know. Yeah, the only, yeah, the only Jada we acknowledge is the only Jada, Jada we acknowledge is Jada Kiss. <laughs> Why is she doing Brother Will like this? A bigger question is why is Brother Will allowing this? I don't understand. You, you, you know, it's, I have to say it's, it's just weakening. Like you said, his legacy is just weakening the man. It's weakening. It, I don't know. If, I, I read it, so I don't know if any of you read it. Will Smith's autobiography. Yeah, when you read it, you know he's not really that guy in it. Yeah, he's not that guy. But spoilers. Anyway, go ahead. The, the Will Smith autobiography came out. I, I probably got. I probably got it. I just haven't read it yet. Bro, it is. I'll be honest with you. Like, I don't know if you like reading, like how I like reading, yeah. But you won't finish. You you won't stop until you finish it. Like, I actually did the audio book as well because I thought, yeah. and he read the audio book. It's sick. Yeah. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, I, I, okay. I thought he's meant meaning it's bad or something. No, no, no. It's a, oh, it's, it's a sick way. book. I like, just you, you get to know like about Will, but you know that. When I say you know that he isn't that guy, he's not a guy on confrontation. You know he's not a guy. Okay, yeah. Like, he's a guy <laughs> that appears confident, but isn't really confident. Yeah. But you can see you can see that through his, like, Instagram as well. Yeah, yeah. His Instagram's becoming a bit more real now, but... Yeah. But I told your missus to hold it down, bro. It's not his missus. No, but <laughs> well, she's rude, bro. What do you mean? No, the, the thing is, yeah, this, this is my beef with Jada. This is my beef with Jada. Okay, I know you're doing a tour. You're trying to sell your book. I get it. I get it. But... It's it's a contradiction. It's like one place she'll say, "Ah, oh, me and Will went together for seven years. I mean, we've been separated for seven years." Blah blah blah. And the next place she'll say, "But but we we've been working on it for for a while to try and get back together." And the next place she'll say, "Ah, oh, but, but when he when she when when he when he said, ah, oh, keep your wife's name out of my mouth," he's like, "Wife." She and then she goes, "Wife, like we've not we haven't been that for a long time." And then number part, she'll say, oh, me and Tupac had nothing. To, we were just friends. And next part, she said, oh, Tupac proposed to me in prison. Yeah, yeah that's but, uh, but someone came and said, Tupac was in, in, in prison in, 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 in 97 or something. You got, you got together with Will in 90. So, but the maths was a muffin. Yeah. You get me? <laughs> and like, 
it's, a, it's, just, it's, just, it's just a walking contradiction. Do you know what I mean? But, but all this, as she says, is making Will look worse and worse and yeah, worse. Wow. Everything she says, it just, it just makes me look like a dickhead. I didn't cheat on Will. Um, yes, you did. Because you were not, you was with Will. It doesn't matter if you're separated, you're still married. Do you know what I mean? And you you thought I didn't keep August and all them things. I just think it's too much, man. Jada, hold it down, bro. I don't even know she. Like, I know she's trying I, to. Oh, and now, and now you're trying to throw Chris Rock under the bus. <laughs> Chris Rock tried to. Chris Rock tried to holler at me, talking about you know you and Will are separated. Nah, bro. <laughs> she's she's, she's deep. Do you think though? Like, do you think she might? Do you think she might be saying all these things as people are coming for her? Like, no, obviously she's... they. They must be just making pure. Accusations about her, so she Mo, probably has to. She's trying to sell a book, Mo. That's I'm all. Trying to be, I'm trying to be impartial here. Anyway. I don't know what's going on between them directly. Like, I'm not there in it, so I'm just trying to be the impartial one. It's not nice, obviously, but I'm just thinking. You know, sometimes when people are just talking smack about you, it's like, all right, cool. I'm gonna say everything I have to say in it, whether I bring him down or not. I have to get my story across. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah but stories are yeah. mad inconsistent, though, Mo. That's the problem. Yeah, they're mad inconsistent. And I haven't seen one where she's bigging him up, really. I yeah. haven't seen... It's, it's all this... Yeah, man. Um, uh, Will is the father to two of your kids, bro. Your only kids, bro. Will is the father of your kids, bro. Yeah? Like, I'm not saying that Will... Like, Will was more successful than you, whatever. Do you get me? Like, it's... Like, have some respect. Like, you still laid down. That's still your... Whatever it, my thing is this. You don't go to air out your dirty laundry, bro. You don't have to. So you, you can. Yeah. There's so many ways you could sell your book. So many ways you could do it. Yeah, that's that's why I'm fed up with this stuff, you know. Because yeah, it's just like why? Yeah, why? This is deep, this is a deep thing that they're going through, and being what, like that's what I'm saying. Once you expose yourself to the internet like that, you're finished. I don't know. I don't know why she thought that oh, I'm going to do these things, and then you know the you know the internet's coming after you. Wait. Yeah. Like images, yeah, it's crazy, man. So I think it's, yeah, for me, it's too much, man. I'm like, Jada, relax. But as we saw, I mean, it looks like Will's taking it. Uh, I mean, it's, it looks like he's taking it well, but obviously, that Instagram shot is it's just, it's just a, a snapshot of his life, so no one knows what he's really going through. But, you know, it seems like he's handling it well. So, yeah, it's cool. Like, even if you are, bro, seven years, bro, we don't need to tell people your business, bro. Yeah. Like, keep it yourself. So, Jada, relax yourself, man. Make the book sell itself. Do you get me? He's apparently responded, though. Apparently. He said something. Uh, I don't heard that yet. Yeah. Got it on the screen. Apparently, he said, um, when you've been with someone for more than half of your life, a sort of emotional blindness sets in, Smith wrote. According to the Times article published Saturday, and you can all... You can all too easily lose your sensitivity to their hidden nuances and subtle beauties. Um, and then apparently he also says that his wife's memoir woke him up. So maybe he's going to finally put his foot down. From the fact that she already been with someone else, that's you, you got grounds to just leave, bro. I don't know. And then she goes, oh, no matter how sad he looked at a red table when he found out about August, like he knew like he goes, let's read a book. You know, like you shouldn't have been sad, but I'm like, what's wrong with you, man? Oh, you was anyway, yeah. Um, I'll still buy the book. I'll let you know what it's about. <laughs> oh, you know, Spotify, Spotify got um Audible. I hope it comes out. i it's it's Audible. It's on Audible as well. So I've seen it. Mm-hmm. The Audible book came out today. Um, I will purchase it. I haven't finished listening to my one on. Um. What did I listen to last week, Carol? The rapper. You know what I'm talking about. Died, LA. Oh, um... Nipsey. Oh, Nipsey, okay. Yeah, so I haven't finished Nipsey. I think I've got three hours left of Nipsey. Yeah. So when I finish this, I might just go straight on to Worthy and see what it's about. She's also narrating the book herself. See what's about. All right, has anything else been going on in the world of the world? I can think of. Alright. Let's get into some TV and film. First off the bat, guys, we have Loki. Loki season two, episode two. 
I guess it's just myself and Merv. Kel, you ain't watched this week, have you? No, nah, no, nah, I ain't watched this week. And Marley Marl, do you watch Loki? I've watched it. I did watch it. Excellent, my brother. Well done, my broski. What were our thoughts on Loki? Uh, still getting good. Still getting still good. Like um they were they kind of focused on um obviously looking for Sylvie. Mm-hmm. But in order to do that, they they had to like get um one of the um, time what the what's the thing called again the thing the D not the DVA TVA yeah TVA. yeah they had to get one of their their most proficient hunters um what's his name B fifteen or something like that um yeah like it's he was right, just kind right, of right. yeah that's where I see yeah right and he was just he was hanging out in he was just hanging out in his timeline apparently where he's supposed to like where he was before he got um. Yeah, but before he got taken, he was like a movie. Yeah, star. yeah, it was like a movie star. So like he's just hanging out, and they're like, "Yeah, we need you." Like because you know where Sylvie, he was, he actually interacted with her and stuff in it, and then he was just like, "No, no," he's just trying to be all like, "No, I don't know what you're talking about." When they they capture him, take him in, and yeah, and do bad cop basically, and like you kind of see the real Loki coming out. Well, not the real Loki, but but it's the Loki that we knew from. Avengers, basically, like, like you know, because yeah, he was, he was quite cheeky. Just saying to him, like, "Oh, you're not a good person. You, you know, you, you kill everything. Your mom, you this, that, 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 and that, and, and whatnot." And yeah, like, you know, you've done hundreds or thousands of people in the Battle of New York. Just basically, just bringing up his past and stuff, isn't it? But Loki's like, "All right, cool." Like, so that was that was quite interesting. Just to. Just to give a reminder, because Loki's become you know, a bit... I forgot, I forgot about that Loki, you know. Yeah, I was talking about that old Loki that's... Well, that's what I'm saying. He it's was like you ma- for... He's a menace, you know. Yeah, you forget about he's actually how... Because he's supposed to be some sort of anti-hero, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah. But it's like, because of the first season of Loki, you're kind of thinking like, oh, well... um, Yeah, no, it's a bit... Yeah, he's a bit softer now, isn't it? He's a bit softer yeah, now, yeah. But this kind of brought it back a bit. yeah. It's a weird one because, like, when we speak, even when you just said that just now, I used to hate Loki. Like, Loki yeah, was my yeah, worst. He was my worst. I used to couldn't stand him. Then after Loki season one, you start to kind of get to him. But you do have that kind of thing where you're like, oh, yeah, he is Loki. He can do stuff in it. Like, yeah. and when you see him trying to get catch X5 and all those kind of stuff and how the wizardry he kind of starts using, you're like, yeah, he's, he's using his magic again. Yeah. yeah, why did yeah. he use it in season one? What happened? Why, why can't he use it? Well, I'm sure he, he, he got, he got, um, I saw they'd done something anyway, so he was prevented from using these powers anyway. Mm, I yeah, and I think, I think, I think maybe towards the end he got them back, if I remember. But yeah, he could like they they had like some sort of block on his powers. He was a prisoner there. Is it because he's in a different timeline and he's not at that original TVA? Because I was I confused think... about. It. I don't remember him having powers at all in the last. Oh, no, no, but that's what I'm saying. I think I think even in the first one, the first season, they. They've done something where he couldn't use his power. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a bad boy, he's a bad boy. Um, I I even like the whole story where they went and found Sylvie and the McDonald's and all the rest of it. And she was just like, she just wanted to be like normal employee, bro. Yeah. Knowing, like, so she's got the McDonald's badge code. I don't know if they still do it. You know that back in the day, you said the McDonald's badge. Yeah. And you'd be able to know how long a man's been working there. Or how good he is by the gold stars. Oh, yeah, the stars oh, in it. Yeah, yeah, I never. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, think yeah, I get. I don't yeah, think yeah. I ever. Got no, I don't, I don't think you get one. It was just holes, five holes, all throughout my <laughs> yeah. McDonald's career. And she had like four stars, so you knew she. You know that in play of the monk tool. That's what she was yeah. on. Didn't you? But again, she remembered she was also a bad girl. Yeah. So like when she's when she needs to be on it, she was on it, and I said, "Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that." Maybe yeah. I was falling asleep a bit, but I didn't really understand what the episode was about. I know it has about finding Sylvie and then they found her and then there was this other plan to kill every. I just I just kind of started to... I think I fell asleep, if I'm honest. So basically, I don't know if you remember first episode, they were all protect, They were all saying they're going to go find Sylvie, but they all thought it was weird. Like, why are you sending so many... Eight, I'm not saying... I'm saying agents. They're probably not called agents. From the TV. Why are you all of you going to go find Sylvie? Like, we're, we're on it, kind of thing. We're on the case. But she was like, but really, it's because they had ulterior motives in it. And that was to destroy all of the rest of the branches that were coming out. Okay, okay. 
So because they wanted to destroy all the branches, but no one knew they were trying to start destroy the branches until it's almost too late. So when they've when they've caught them, they're blowing up bare branches. But everyone else is like, no, but all those branches have people on them. People on it, okay. Like, yeah, it's yeah. actual people you're killing. It's not like you're just trying to repair fractions of like fixtures in the timeline. Like you're killing people, innocent people that ain't done nothing. Yeah, so that's kind of where it was. And they're still trying to find um they miss minutes and um Renslayer as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping that he who shall not be named doesn't appear in this. Why why do you say that? I, I feel like if he does, mm. it ruins it for those that don't watch the TV shows and only watch the films. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like because he's kind of geared up to be the next um, Thanos. Thanos or antagonist or whatever you want to call it. Like, for him to be in the TV shows, if you just watch the films, you're not going to understand like how he yeah. got to be where he is, if that made sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's why for me, I would say like, yeah, I, would, I don't want him in this one. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and I, th I think it kind of gives him a bit more... Um... More fear factor as well. Yeah. You see how people like Richard can't stand, like Richard's like, no, I don't fear him. Da, 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 da. Like, yeah. I almost thought because Richard has too much access to him. And clearly, this is, this is not really that. Richard has no access to him whatsoever, yeah? But, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, he needs to be up there. Like, when you see him, he needs to be on the big screen in the cinema going, raw shit. Like that. As opposed to like, oh, yes, you know, I see him one time, just press rewind, fast forward, all that stuff. But And to be fair, we've already seen him now in, what is it? Yeah, just two, two, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah Loki season, season one. Season one, Loki, and Ant Man and the Wasp. And, yeah, the Quantum Mania from, and he's, yeah, he, he definitely doesn't have that presence that Thanos has. No, and maybe doesn't, doesn't, maybe doesn't need to, but yeah, yeah. He needs, and, some, and he needs some sort of presence, though. He needs some sort of presence. Obviously, the the the, the problem with Jonathan Majors doesn't help as well. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like probably, I'm, I'm wondering if they actually. We're gonna have him more more in the thing as well, but as what's happened, have they edited him out? I don't know. That's that's maybe we're yet to see in the next four episodes. Maybe I and feel like there wasn't a um, a thingy episode. There wasn't a hidden post credit scene this week. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I still sat there and watched it, hoping it was. Oh, so did I. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just think. I was more invested in this in the season one. Like by this time, yeah. I know it's only we've only watched two, but I was fully invested in the last episode, last season. I was excited to watch it. I literally fell asleep watching the last one. Maybe I put it on too late, but <clears throat> I don't know. It's just not got that excitement at the moment. I'm sure it will build up, but mm. I think I'm hoping it does. I think I still like it. It's, but I also understand that it's a different concept. There is like this is all like timeline stuff in it like so it isn't a physical like Loki needs to do x y and z and I guess last year you had a timeline <laughs> it's never easy to follow as well because it's like yeah the way they jump and they move and this happened did that happen did that really happen no did, I mean it's, it's quite that's it's it's a mind f but I also think it's a cheat code and I like I don't like when they use the cheat codes the time travel that it always happens yeah, it's a cheat code. But yeah, I'm still here for Loki, 100%. 100%. Um, so that was Loki season two, episode two. Um, I have a slight confession to make. Um, so last week we spoke about Gen V episode four. This week we're going to spoke about Gen V episode five. But I went to go and press play for Gen V episode five. Then I realised that last week I'd only watched 40 minutes of, and I still had like 15, 20 minutes to go of last week's episode. So I didn't actually see the ending. You know, like when you start talking about my man and he was doing the most, like that I actually watched him when he was like doing things with the hair dryer and da 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 da. I was thinking, what the hell? Oh, so man. I've now caught up properly. And I'm like, okay, but I didn't want to confess in the group. <laughs> I want man to laugh at me. So I've watched it and I watched the full, the full episode this one. So episode five, what what are our thoughts? It's a phony. It's a liar. Who said it last week? Someone said, someone gave us it. Richard. 
He said, "Oh, he read somewhere where Kate is the Kate is the villain. Is it Kate? Her name, the one probably, who probably, can... probably yeah. he did. Yeah, he probably. Like... So yeah, it wasn't because he already said it. I had it in my mind, and then I didn't. I didn't even I, hear that part. I didn't, I didn't even heard either. <laughs> I was wondering how no one was like smashing him up for like the spoiler. I was like, right, we ain't seen it yet. He just, nah, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't remember him seeing it. Yeah. Um, I didn't see I that didn't, even yeah. if, even though he said that, I didn't even see it coming. You know? Oh, I, I, it had to be. I knew it had to be. Because of her powers, I figured it had to be, like, something to do with her. Yeah. Like, she's been blackmailed or something. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it's true. A mad puppet scene, though. Yeah. Like, mad puppet scene. <laughs> like, I've never seen anything like like watching the Muppet show. In, uh... But actually, oh, there has that been some horror. I, I like that. That was a sick scene. That was yeah. kind of sick, though. Yeah. And then, like, when I, enjoyed it went... episode. I enjoyed it. Yeah, when it went back to the real stuff, it's like, oh, my... are there ideas already of like what the next potential? What's that? So, what the hell? That's what happened there, bro. Sorry. Uh, my heart started beating. I thought, I, I thought you two started playing together or something. But I was like, oh, I was so <laughs> I was about to cut out where. And then I <laughs> thought only I could hear it. I didn't know any of you could hear it because you know what that is. So I was like, oh, is that me? So my bad. I apologize. <laughs> So my my bad, my bad. But you know what I suspected Kate is when um Marie came and told her, ah, oh, like there's something going on. I got I had a chip in my and her reaction was very, very blase, like, oh is it? Yeah, Sit yeah. down. Tell me. Like that's what I suspected her. I was like, okay, you it's you. Yeah. Um but no, I enjoyed this episode. It was it was, it was, it was, it was better than the other four that I watched. No, other three. I enjoyed the first episode as well. No, it was good. I liked it. I liked it. It was, it was a very, you know, it's just very... It was a good episode, but I don't, I didn't like the way they ended it. I think it was too quick. Like, like do you, she just put her hands on this guy and told him to go and kill, what's the bro's name? His thing got exploded. Can't remember. Um, no, no, oh. that's the... The Jack guy killed the Jack guy. Yeah, that's because that's, that was a little twist in it. They wanted us to think he was the one doing it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so she, he went to go and kill him at the end, and then there was like, no, 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 Kate's the one, Kate, and then Kate, literally three seconds later, come the air. So what are we doing it for then? What? So you literally just there at the right moment before he killed. I just don't know. I just thought. No, but Kate, I don't know if it, uh, happened, it's just too quick. Because I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand the Asian woman. Like, cause obviously, I'm, just, I'm assuming the Asian woman is telling her to do this. Yeah. She might hold she, something. Do you remember, she was like. She was like, they're gonna hate me, they're gonna find out it's me. I can't she was like she was at her kind of wit's end of like she wants to confess. So that means that she's the one who messed up what's his name as well? Golden Golden Boy, is that his name? Yeah, that's, that's what they said. And they turned him the fire, psycho, the fire, isn't it? The yeah. Fire is, yeah. Because she kept making yeah. him forget about yeah, yeah, yeah. So he kept yeah, she kept doing it. But another thing confused me though was okay, bro, you just got your your whole private area blown up. I was just about to mention no that. Pain. Like you got no pain. You should pain be in hospital for a year. Bro. So that made me think as well, sorry. Did he was that a, did he double trick her to make her think she did that to him when I don't know. I don't know. It's a crazy show. We're gonna find out that she didn't really do that and he he was he was like in her head. I don't know. Because that don't make sense. I thought the same thing. You, you got exploded down there. There's no way you're walking around. There's no exactly. way you're in a party and you're dancing. He's supposed to be super squeaky or super deep. One of the other. <laughs> Maybe Kate has spoken to him and she's she, she, she started again. Or what about the invisible man? The invisible man's confession. Oh, he's a joker, I guess. <laughs> What's that? What's that? The sure. invisible man. He's confessing. He's, 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 um, he's like. Sometimes he's chatting, he's chatting today when when they're yeah. sitting down. It's like sometimes I like to go into the men's change room. Sometimes oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah nah. I mean, I, I know it's. I, 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 what's the relationship with the donkey? I don't get it. Or what? Not donkey. Is it llamas or whatever? What was it? Which one? The the llama, 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 llama. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's suspect though. It is because he's like, oh yeah, she's upset with me. Come back, wait, I'm sorry. And in the party, is like that lover had a, a lead on on him around his neck. Hey, basically, um, there's an, another the deep situation here with his fish and yeah. do life creatures. But that, make, but that makes sense because he's part fish, whatever, isn't it? 
Yeah, that yeah. makes that makes sense, you know what I mean? But this was just weird. That's what he likes, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. You know, I, I, I was. I even started talking to people about Gen V and like telling them that they should like try and jump on it. Like I've been, I've been trying to promote it this week. So yeah, no, nah, I like Gen V. I like Gen V. Is it wrong of me that I find um, the Emma character kind of attractive? I think a lot of people do. She's, she's attractive. She's yeah. yeah, the little cricket one. Tomorrow's probably like. Oh, if I should say this. I, I was thinking it for time, bro. I was like, do I say yeah. it? But I don't know. Look at him. Like, she, she's like, waited three weeks to say it. They're bro. nice too. They show her legs a lot. I think they're making up for the other stuff. It's, it's a safe space, Mark. Don't watch that. All right, cool, cool, cool. It was the one that was big and small, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She reminds me of Chloe, but I'm not. I didn't. Yeah, she doesn't like that, really. which, does, which yeah, is that's weird. She looks like I've been trying to put my finger in it. Yeah, she does, yeah, she does, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chloe, I wasn't attracted. Chloe wasn't. We don't talk about Chloe. No. I know, I know. It's true. It's true. It's true. She fucked up. What I will say though, like I know this is like nah, Joe, it's, this is not a story. No, it's not a safe place. It's not a safe space. It's not as cool. <laughs> it's, it's getting a bit carried away, boy. It's like hey, let me oh. jump in now. What it was you see when Emma went small, yeah, yeah, like whatever. She's getting small, whatever. You see when Emma went big, yeah. I was like, are you going to make everything with Emma big? But they never did. Like, does it make sense? Like, I, I don't know, like, I just, yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know, because she won't... You, you didn't question up. it when she went small, but it's like, when she went big, it's like... <laughs> no, when she, when she went big, she woke up, yeah, and she was, like, starkers, in it. So I was like, how are they going to do this? Are they going to make everything gigantic? That's that's all it was, but they didn't. They didn't do anything. She just had her arm like this, and that was fine. There's a man though, his dick would be out and shit. Pause. I told you it wasn't a safe space. Shit. <laughs> I saw a clip of Big Brother, by the way. Sorry to just jump in. Um, I saw the colour of the couch. That's all I'm gonna say. Carry on. But no one know like, I think you lot are, oh, I think the agenda's worked that. easy. I think it's just worked on you guys. You don't see it anymore. I, I see it all. No, no, you know, I, I wouldn't see that. I was only the first episode of Big Brother. Yeah, I've only, I've only watched the first one. I haven't watched yeah, it. So I, I've I watched just it was again. at my mum's, you know, her mum's get, she was watching it and they're in the diary room and the couch that they're on, you know, the eye. It's mad, it's mad with different colours, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, rainbow, isn't it? It's the LGBT oh, stuff. Oh, just, just... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Got to make sure it's in there somewhere, that's what I'm saying. All right, um... After Gen V, so we're gonna look at episode six that will come out on Friday, as will Loki episode three come out on Friday. Uh, we had Power Book Force season two episode seven. Yeah, I leave that to you guys, man. Murph, I will say one thing. Yeah. Like obviously, when did my girl become some super Saiyan? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. It, it, it. it doesn't make sense to me, and it's annoying. Who, um, what's her name? Janard's team. Uh, Shanti. Yeah, I, I don't understand how Shanti has become. She reminds me now of what's his name's cousin. You know, in the original power, like power, what well, the original power, Fifty Cent's cousin. Oh, um, please. Yeah. Jukebox. Yeah, it, this is like jukebox now, but like when jukebox is a bad girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like she roughed up the youth in the boxing room because the youth questioned him. Yeah, yeah. It was like slapping him up, talking about you can't question me or my man. Yeah. What are you talking about? Like for me, I, I don't get her. In the words of Richard, she needs to go. She probably, she probably will, you know. She probably will go. Tommy. Whenever you think you've caught Tommy, you can't catch him. No. You can't catch him. He is, he is proper like ghost, but it's no. ghost point two, isn't it? But it's point two. Oh. The end scene without throwing spoilers, what he did was so smart. Yeah. So smart. Yeah. So handle that business. Yeah. I Look, look Vic, Vic finished, didn't it? I know he could be like... Like he's obviously trying to like all he wants is to be free. Bro, he doesn't he want to go just to... wants his sister to go pin bed. Yeah, he don't want to go jail. Sick. He don't want to go jail, and he just wants to live a a cushy life. But I, I think he's probably thinking now, gosh, what have I got myself into? Yeah. Because 
it's either like, do I fear Tommy more or do I fear the um this? And I think he fears Tommy more, isn't it? Clearly. Yeah. But what he did, that that's that's a federal offense, bro. That's that's death row. He's he's in now, boy. He's in it. Him and Tommy's cousin and and sorry, Tommy's nephew. D Mac. He might back to back sharing the same cell, bro. Waiting for him to talk about what do you want your final meal to be? <laughs> um, Diamond's new thing. Couldn't wait, they couldn't wait for that, innit? Couldn't wait. <laughs> couldn't wait. She came, Kel. If you watch one scene, watch that scene. Their listen, their dialogue oh. here. The dialogue is. Their dialogue is so awful. Whoever wrote that their dialogue between them two is just like like it's out of some nineties like soft porn movie or something um, or Vogue, isn't it? Like I see you up there talking, it's kind of sexy. And then that's it, they're just they're just just in it. No just like that, you know. Yo, you came who, who's, who's Diamond? Who's Diamond again? Diamond is the one that rolls with Tommy. Okay. The, the other CI DBI brother. Yeah. So, yeah. Literally He's he's shining like this thing. Boxer. Yeah, he's yeah. looking after the son, trying to teach the son to box over. Then, like, literally, she's like, Oh, I want to come out for dinner. You're going to cook, or we're going to go out. Comes in the yard, like in her jacket, or whatever. He's like, Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll go. And she goes, Actually, I want to stay here. She's like, Oh, okay. He turns around, jacket's open. You've got then the little neg- negligee. He's like, Oh, okay. Wow. What sister? I'll send you the Insta. Research purposes. Obvious. Research purposes, that's all. Richard sent it to me. Of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> because if I, guys, I'm going to be absent today, but here's, here's, you know, here's my contribution. <laughs> Get me, you know. You know he ain't going to watch the pod, you know, Richard. Oh. Okay. okay. He listens, not what happens. Yeah. yeah, but um, yeah, no. So yes, but um, Janard again. Is Janard going back on us? I don't know. Like he's a weird one. He's on the smack. He's off the smack. He's like the quickest recovery. He's now somehow got money to go and buy back jewelry. He's filmed Tommy with Tommy's girl. Right. What's her name? Right, Maria. Maria. Where Tommy's now in love with this thing, so much so that her brother comes to the yard. Tommy's <coughs> getting shook. Like it's just, it's I don't know. It's it's that it's a calamity of errors. Yeah, it's a calamity Tommy of errors. Tommy gets Tommy gets shook. No, so basically Tommy shook. I don't know. He's not the Serbs. Who is he? It's not Serbian. Um, uh, what's his name? Miguel. It, um, yeah. So the plug. Tommy like the he's seen the plug doing madness. Like the plug just will stab, stab a man in his hand for no reason, all them kind of things. So Tommy's just wary about him, but obviously Tommy's beating his sister. Does he know? Yeah, just, yeah, I think uh, I, I don't think he's scared. I think he just has to play it smart, isn't it? Because yeah. like once, yeah, because this guy's just like it's business. No one told you to touch my sister. So, do you know what I mean? And I think I think Tommy has plans for him. Yeah, but Tommy. Just... Tommy. I think to, once Tommy gets land, and sorry, yeah. once he gets territory. Yeah. And he's got the territory, then he'll over him. Yeah, because that because now they've cut off the Serbs as well, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. So so like one down, one to go. I told you, he's he's weak, bro. Like they've made him weak, bro, because he got diabetes, bro. It's it's silly. It's silly. That's what's gonna kill him, you know. Tommy's gonna really? stand there and talk about I'm not giving you the insulin. I watch him die. Tell me. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. But yeah, no, Power Book, this was a better episode than the previous week, I think. Previous was a laughing stock. Yeah, this this one, it's, it's, it was semi-okay. Mm, yeah, no, you're right. right. Yeah, it was semi-okay. Pause on the semi still, but it was it was okay. All right, guys. Um, I don't know. Have anyone been, anyone been watching anything else, like, recently? Uh, yeah, I've been watching uh, this thing on Netflix, um, the thought of the fall of Usher House or fall of the fall of House of Usher, but yeah, it's it's not a it's, no, it's got a fall of the House Usher. of Usher. The fall yeah, of yeah. the House of Usher. 
yeah, yeah. It's more for Marlon and, and Merv, to be honest. Yeah, it's man. like a, it's it's more it's more of a horror Oh, kinda... go- gothic horror drama. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not for me. Is it part of the Haunted House series? It's the, the same haunt- makers. The Haunted oh, House, the House on the Hill. Yeah, it's yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, it's the same writers. Okay. Same writer. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. all right. It's, it's 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 good, but they're also stupid. Not st- stupid, but there's there's some parts you're like, bro, like. When you watch it, then I, I, I can break it down. But there are some silly parts. But it's based on a book, though, isn't it? It's based on a book. Yeah, yeah, it's based on a book. And that book was first published in 1839. Yeah. So do you get me? We're watching. Kel's watched it 200 years later, almost. So I guess it's going to be some like that. Doesn't make no sense. <laughs> but no, I recommend it this, for, 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 um, for Mar. Yeah. The, who's the writer? Is the the Life House one? The house. Yeah. Yeah. Hill, that one. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Yeah. Check it out. So, Nate, quick question: How do you like? I know you don't like horrors, but what do you like? Vampire movies? How we well, like Lost Boys? I, I'm sure. No, I've watched it. No, no, I've watched it. So, okay, when I say okay, maybe I. Was, you kind of touched on like, that last week, like the satanic stuff that we don't. Yeah, like. I, I don't like any of that kind of stuff. I don't like satanic stuff. He doesn't, does, like, does like vampires and zombies as well. <laughs> but I don't like vampires and zombies. No, but I think they're all part of the same thing. Like, all of the undead shit. I'm not watching that. <laughs> vampires are undead. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> Angel had a soul. Zombies are undead. I'm not on it. I thought he's going to back me up on that, Merv. Huh? I fully didn't watch Angel. I fully didn't watch Angel. In fact, I didn't even know he, I didn't even know he had a soul. Oh, man. Well, Angel, Angel, or, like, Angel. From Buffy. Angel? Yeah, oh, I... Buffy. Vampire. Oh, yeah, yeah, I never watched that. I never watched I... that. Either. Yeah. Damn. Even Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I didn't watch it. I oh, swear, that... I swear is, is Buffy made by the Lost People? Mm. I was just making up from nowhere. I don't think so. I don't know. I know. Maybe they got the same kind of. I don't know. I don't... But either I didn't watch it. Uh, Buffy's Joss Sweden. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's... Yeah, that's it. And Lost is JJ Abrahams? Yeah. Yeah. Abrahams. That's it. Abrams, yeah. yeah. Lost. They're both Jays, aren't they? They're both Jays. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, that's it, Molly. I don't watch any of that stuff. All like, right. Stuff, all that kind of stuff is, well, that's long. People, like, I've what? don't get me wrong, like, if it is a land, like, not a, you know, like, them kind of big blockbusters, like, so, like, I watch The Ring, I watch all them kind of stuff. But, like, it's more if, like, everyone's like, oh, let's go and watch this. I'm like, all right, cool, but. Like, you watch Blade. When Blade comes out, you watch that, right? Yeah, 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 that's that. That's because, but that's because <laughs> you know what that is, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, you lost all eyes. That's straight away, you know. <laughs> no, but it's safe. No, but that's what I'm saying. Even where we've had like, say, quote unquote, black horrors or whatever they are, I've watched them, innit? Yeah. yeah don't, we don't take we don't really take horror seriously though when we make them. No, no, no. It was a common thing, innit? Yeah, yeah I, if it's a serious horror, I'm not watching it. If it's one name, oh, Vampire I'm, I'm, Brooklyn, like, yeah, huh? Vampire in Brooklyn as I well. I mean, no, you watch that. Yeah, I watch that again. But that's that's <laughs> the new Eddie, vampire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's come on. Do you know what I mean? I can't go wrong. I watched Beverly Hills Cop one, two, and three the other day again, bro. Like I, I rate it. Like Beverly Hills Cop three is probably the worst one, but one and two, I love it. Is that what we went um Disney World? This... Yeah, yeah, Axel yeah. Fox, isn't it? Axel Foley. The yeah, Axel Foley, that's it. Axel Foley. They're making a part four as well, isn't it? Just yes, saying. and I will watch it. Oh, I was just saying, didn't it already come up? No, not yet. I'm watching the fourth one as well. I, I rate Beverly Hills Cops, bro. Beverly Hills Cops, that's childhood right there. Childhood, trust me, childhood. That's legendary, bro. Legendary. See, was, this is what I was going to ask you. Like, on our Black History Month assignments, Yes. if a black man or a black woman is the star of a movie, but there's a lot of white people in the movie. That the black person's the star. Is that considered a if you watch a nope, like nope. Training Day, for example, like there's only one star in that film. Yeah, and I know, but still it's you know what I'm saying, no, no, like, I tried that last week and I got I got scolded, so no, it don't, okay. don't count. Because yeah, I wanted to watch I'll tell you what I wanted to watch. I wanted to watch Stir Crazy. Okay. Oh, no, the, um... Crazy, Blade and Saddles, Blade and Saddles, sorry. Oh, yeah. That's a film about black slaves trying to build this railway for Hedley Lamar and the white but then this I don't know I was a bit stuck this week was, was, that last week? was that film which was last year? Huh? yeah we watched a lot I think that we watched it when um, what's his name passed didn't it um, last year yeah we did what... Bruv, where's Sidney Poitier in Blazing Saddles because 
He's like the main. No, nah, that's not Sydney Potty, bro. Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles, man. Saddles. Well, don't let me IMB. Like, I'm not me, um... saying Saddles. I'm saying Saddle, like on a horse, a saddle. Yeah. A bike. Saddles is, is not. It's not. Um... Well, the, the no, Western, there's, yeah. no, there's no Potty in that film, bro. Nah, that's that's Cleveland Little. There you go. Oh. Richard Pryor. Oh, you're talking about the one with, um, with Gene, Wilder. Gene Wilder in it? Yeah. That's the Mel Brooks film? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, we didn't watch that one. We watched Blazing Saddies. Oh, that's a... Okay. Blazing Saddies. Never even heard of it. I wonder... You sure there's a Blazing Saddies, bro? I don't think there was... Yeah, sure. Blazing Saddies. And that's the one where it just went meta at the end, didn't it? Like, when, when it started going into, like... How do you spell the Saddies? How do you spell that? Um, <laughs> S-A-D-D-I. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Marlon's full, you know. Nah, it's Marlon's nah, full. There's no Blazing Saddies, bro. I'm just saying word names I didn't say. It's supposed to be a my turn to say what I'm watching and Marlon's going on all this. <laughs> 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 Not following oh, the script. Sydney Poitier is not in blazing anything. Is that no, true? man. No, I'm not making up. Um, you are, uh, you are, brother. The raising right. in the sun, yes. Um, He's if you're talking about of the action. Guess who's coming to dinner? Yes. Brother John, yes. So I'd, I'd see. Are these considered black movies? Because he's the fire ones. Right he's the, the fire ones. Yeah. Okay. But didn't put it was sick, you know. Yeah, I don't remember the one that you're talking about. When was it made? When was it made? <laughs> no, I watched it, man. I'm not even joking. Mom is wrong and strong. You know what I'm saying? When was it strong. made? You're damn right. <laughs> Have you put Sydney Poitier in the movie title? It's coming up. Boy, I can't see it yet. It's not there. You won't, you won't see it. What did I watch then? Wait a minute. Actually, <laughs> it, it probably was that film. It probably was it, Blazing Saddles. That's what I said. But the person <laughs> you're talking about is not Sydney Poitier. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I know what I done. I watched. I think it was Heat of the Night. I watched for 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 Sydney Poitier. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've done. We'll, we'll, we'll save it. We'll save it. We'll save it. Basically, basically, like, like a whole title, a whole movie. I've done the whole thing, thing like... the whole thing that we're against that they, we all look to like. Yeah, shame on me. But, but when are you gonna blaze the studies though? That was jokes. Some, no, I swear. <laughs> that's, that, that, no, what? No, no, no. that's what Rich was saying. Rich was saying. <laughs> 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 that's what Rich was saying before blazing studies. I'm not here to defend himself, but that's what he said, isn't it? I let it slide last week when you said it. I was like, all right, okay. Because I know Blazing Saddles is the Mel Brooks one. I definitely know that. We watched that. (laughs) Oh, it's Rich, man. I I swear Rich was saying Blazing Saddles. You know, Rich Rich is not here to, 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 you know what I mean, save himself. So let's let Blazing Rich is fine. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's his fault. Blazing Saddles. All right. That that racism. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Um,. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Rubber. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Marlon. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, obviously. So I watched Lupin season three or part three. It's all right. Yeah, it's good, it's fun. But I just think, how much more can you do of this live action as well? Because it's getting a bit silly, isn't it? Like he's his little escapades and tricks. I'm like, come on, man. This is not. This is not real. Well, I mean, it wasn't real in the first place, but yeah, it just well, seems yeah, a bit more. You. Yeah. Bit more ridiculous, isn't it? And I thought, right, surely they're going to end it this season. There's nothing more to go on by it. Yeah, and probably there's probably there's there's they've ended it. So it could be another um part as well. But I think that with yeah. him, like obviously the show, I get, I'm, I'm assuming. So the shows that or the TV shows, or whatever, or whatever it was before, like when they used to watch Lupin or whatever, like the comics or whatever it is, yeah, they were usually stories. So like once the end of a story, you can go into a whole other story. Yeah, they're not continuous, but I guess with this looping, because you've made it the way it is, yeah, they are like almost they have to now all fit into the same narrative. Yeah, that's it's right. Yeah. Like you would have had part one or like looping season one, boom, story done. When they yeah, yeah. whole new story. Yeah, everything's all interlinked now. Yeah, actually, to be fair, to be fair, it did end 
with a lot of intrigue. So, um, I, yeah, because I, I, at first I thought, I, what, cause, yeah, I was, I was, I was getting a bit like oh, that's a bit silly, but because of the way it ended, now I'm like, yeah, give me another one, actually. Yeah, and and the same with um, Cobra, Cobra Rebellion. I thought potentially this could be the last season. And I kind of hope it is just because of the way it ended. But again, they probably left it open so there could be another series, maybe if it's due to the demand. Okay. But it was it was good. It was an easy watch, very quick. I, I'm um, literally first episode, digging of holes. And I think the Prime Minister's daughter's come back from um, studying and she now wants to be some activist. Yeah. What I'm saying, yeah. I, I don't know why writers always do these daughters as the most annoying people ever. Like, they need to stop doing that, innit? Because it's, it's getting to me now, innit? Like, but no respect for the Prime Minister to have at all. Yeah. Like, uh, anyway, yeah. The Prime Minister dad does cooking for you when you come back from holiday or coming back from studying as opposed to just getting your cleaners, your cooks to do the thing or... And, and you know what? You're, you're, imagine, like, your parent being a Prime Minister or leader of the country. Yeah, so that's not a snack of a roll, you know. Mm. And fair enough, you're against what they kind of stand for, but like to go to actually go out of your way to to oppose them in that way, it's just like, come on, man, you're putting them in a position, isn't it? Like, it's no need for it. Like, you know, remove yourself from the family if you need to, but don't do that. It's wrong. Yeah. Also, most stuff. I've got to tell you, I've been watching Daryl Dixon. Have you started it? Or? No, no. You, you haven't even seen it. I need to start all the spin offs, actually. Yeah, but come on, man, man. fix up, bro. Nah, me, man. Nah, me. Nah, man. You, nah, man. you, man. you, you know, you know my yet? schedule, man. You know my schedule. I've been nah, watching. Man. You got, Welcome to Rexham, the greatest football show on earth. Oh, this is legacy. Yeah, this is legacy like... right here. <laughs> the morning show, all that stuff, bro. Oh, forget morning show, ban that, bro. But do, do you know what I have been watching, though? Um, and obviously, you got caught up with Doom Patrol as well. Oh, I need to watch that, yeah. Um, what's Doom Patrol on now? Is Doom Patrol what? on? What's it yeah. on? Are you watching on Alternative? It's on that. It's on that thing. Like, um, that Alternative? Channel. channel. That channel. Oh, it's on... Yeah. Why is it like, I can watch it, like, legally? One yeah. Just in time, boy. Anyway, forget forget that. Forget that. It's good anyway. Um, For, for Mankind, like, finally started. Like it's big. It's, it's not what I expected it to be at all, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. What's that again? For all mankind. What's that yeah, again? For all mankind. It's about it's basically about um people going like, you know, um back in the sixties when man started going to the moon and stuff. Just basically just all the politics around space travel and oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's so good, man. Is that Netflix? Um no Apple TV. Oh, okay. Plus. Really good. Like I'm on, I'm on, I'm halfway through season two. I think season four is coming out some. So that's 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 what I've been watching. So, so, so Lionsgate, yeah. <laughs> what what's that? Um, Doom uh, Doom Doom. yeah, 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 yeah. Doom Patrol is a Lionsgate. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to think. How about it's what's this now? Season three. Um, four, uh, I think four. four. It's the final one, isn't it? Yeah. It's the final one, okay. Damn, have I watched the... F- Did we watch the you first have, one? It's been, it's been a long break, bro. It's been a long... Yeah. Break. The, it was so, the break was so long, I forgot it's actually coming yeah, back. Yeah, I forgot as well. I totally forgot about it. Yeah. So yeah, if I go back and watch it from the beginning again? Like nah, nah, nah. A little recap. Nah, I don't know. You don't need to really go back. This is this is something that you don't need to go back for because it's so, so wacky. All right, so when did we when did the new season start? Like, what episode did we, did we come back on? Um, seven and eight. Oh, it's been two episodes. Yeah, so they, I think that both episodes came out back to back. Okay. Yeah. And you know, Cyborg's like not a cyborg anymore. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, yeah. Like, I remember Cyborg gave up his powers. Yeah. And he's boys with him now. Like, and then, um. The woman, she went back. She's trying to do something. I can't remember what she was doing. The older woman. Um, what the one? Not Rita. The other one. Yeah, yeah, one of them was going back to try and fix something, and yeah, yeah I'll, I'll catch up. I think I remember. Yeah, yeah. I think I remember. Okay, cool. All right, I'll jump on the whole Doom Patrol. I'm gonna be real. I'll be hundred. I haven't watched a damn 
Like, I haven't, like, literally, I just about watched the England game today and I only watched it <laughs> because it was on in the pub. I did, I haven't watched anything. Like, I'm hoping that after half term, I can get back on the, the program stuff properly. But I will be definitely watching something. So, for those that have got it made this far, next week will be a Black History Month special celebrating our sisters. And we will be talking about films. I will be doing um, a little kind of quiz. There will be questionnaires. Like, we'll be celebrating Black History Month. So, make sure you tune into episode 211 for Black History Month celebrating the sisters. So, Merv? Next week, the post star is going to be celebrating the sisters. All right, guys, keep it 100. People, rate, comment, subscribe, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. We out. <laughs>